right, number five wants us to give a word description for the set below. And um, in the set, you can see negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, dot, 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 8, 9, 10, and we stop. Okay, so let me talk about number groupings and their sets. So it will be handy to have this diagram. You do get a description in the text, which I can show you that here. Um, if you go to question help, you can help me solve this, view an example, and you can pull up the online textbook, which will take you to the section, not specifically to uh, the contents of this problem. It just takes you to the chapter and section. I was thinking about it. Let's give it a second to load up. Okay, so here we are in 2-1. Uh, it's talking about sets. Uh, some examples. Uh, cardinal number. So here are the sets of numbers. So you got natural numbers or counting numbers, and they give you some examples. Um, this is very much in mathematical terms. I'm going to try to explain it to you in layman terms um, because some of this may be hard to understand. So I'm going to draw a visual diagram that will help you associate these numbers and groups. So this box will represent real numbers. Every number is a real number. Uh, it is denoted by a bold face R. So draw two lines and then make an R. So this means real numbers. Real numbers. Okay. Real numbers are broken into two groups. Rational. Rational numbers <coughs> are vast, really big, and then we have irrational numbers. Okay, rational numbers are numbers that can be put in fraction form. So it could be a whole number, 10. It could be a negative number, negative 5. I don't know if I said that correctly, but these numbers can be put in fraction form. Whole numbers can be put in fraction form by just putting this number over 1. Okay. So I could do uh, 20 divided by 4. That would give us 5. So any whole number or fraction uh, can be put in fraction form. Also, decimals that terminate, so like 0.321. Any decimal that stops, terminates, does not go on forever, is a rational number. And lastly, you have uh, non-ending repeating decimals that have a pattern. So like 0.333 repeating. Uh, you can have a point one eight seven one eight seven okay, as long as it has a repeating pattern if it goes on forever it is rational so uh, rational numbers are numbers that can be put in fraction format which include whole numbers fractions terminating decimals so decimals that have a countable number of places and non-ending infinite decimals that go on and on but also have a repeating pattern. They have to have a repeating pattern. If they don't have a repeating pattern, they're irrational. So some examples of irrational would be square root of 2. So any square root of a number that is not a perfect square. Uh, pi is irrational, 3.14, and it goes on uh, forever but doesn't repeat. Uh, e, which is an exponential number, is about 2.71 something and it goes on forever 
and doesn't repeat. Rational numbers have a symbol. Since we've already used R for real, uh, they use Q, a bold face Q shape for um, rational numbers. Um, inside the group of rational numbers, a smaller set contained in rational numbers are integers. Integers are denoted by a boldface Z. Um, integers are positive and negative whole numbers. So dot, 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 negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. So every whole number, positive and negative. A smaller group contained inside... The integers are the whole numbers, denoted by a bold face W. Whole numbers just start with zero and contain all the positive numbers. One, two, three, four, dot, dot, dot. So starting with zero. And then the smallest group contained inside of here would be natural numbers which we've talked about on the previous problem or previous video natural numbers denoted by bold face n are just the whole counting numbers positive one two three dot 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 sorry this is really small hopefully you can see this so these are the number groupings. Every natural number is a whole number. Every whole number is an integer. Every integer is a rational number. Every rational number is a real. Every irrational is real. So they work from inside out, but um, it doesn't go the opposite way. So I can't say just because it's rational, it's an integer, because there are no decimals in here. I can't be say integer is also whole, because there's no negative in the whole numbers. So. Um, if it's inside this group, it's also a part of everything that's above it, but it doesn't transfer the other direction. So these are the number groups. Uh, based on this information, we can now answer this question. Um, what we see are negative and positive whole numbers. That leads us to the group of integers. And these integers... So it's not whole numbers, whole numbers are positive. All the counting numbers, again counting numbers would be natural numbers. So they're whole positive. Um, integers between negative 11 and 11, yes, that fits. It's not all whole numbers less than 11, it's only positive numbers stopping at zero. And it is not all the integers between negative 10 and 10. Between negative 10 and positive 10 would not include those numbers. So that means we will be stopping at negative 9 and 9. So C is the best choice.